when I uh, when I'm aware, when I'm in tune, what's going on around me in the world, and in, in my neighborhood, in my community, in my city, in my country, um, and I have access to information about that, I try and process that in such a way that I can introduce a critical perspective. I'll gather all the facts, all the material. I'll do my research. I'll come up with the key names, the key statistics, key figures, the key points, and I'll try to to put together the pieces, rearrange the pieces of this puzzle in such a way that, look, this is another perspective. Here's a critical perspective of what's going on around us. And by marshalling all those resources, by doing all the basic research into the question, that helps me in terms of my creativity because then I've got this tool bank of ideas, of words, of, of names, of events, of history, and then I will use that to then sculpt, to write, to soundscape, to do whatever. I'll collect sound samples from places to, to help then create a piece of work that addresses that question, but from a totally different perspective. So a lot of my creative work is based on me absorbing the facts of the issue, trying to get everything right, because unless we're speaking to the truth, unless our work is truthful, then we have no chance of winning, of winning over other people's minds. So I try to ensure every time that I do research on specific issues that what I'm saying as a poet, as a writer, is truthful. I encourage other people to try the same approaches and the workshops are called Creative Resistance. And In these workshops I show people how they too can use the arts in its broadest sense, whether it's music, poetry, theater, comedy, film, dance, you know, uh, multimedia, whatever, to address serious questions, issues of social change, issues that are important to them. And I will give these workshops for community groups, for student groups, trade unions, environmental groups across the country, across Canada, in the States, and even in Europe, and recently in Hong Kong. And these are workshops where people get hands-on training, I give them, in how to take an issue of the day, how to get into it, how to analyze it, understand it, and then transform it into uh, transform that issue into something that's creative, how to take a creative approach to addressing that issue, how to use the arts to address that issue and refresh the perspective, refresh the analysis, refresh the engagement, and how to in fact improve and have more effective public engagement by using the arts when you're discussing these issues. So there's a series of workshops that I offer on those questions.